Hey everyone, what's up? It's Alicia from Fit Pro Essentials, and I wanted to show you how to record on Zoom and how to set up your settings uh, for your online live streaming and your classes to make sure you have everything set up properly. So if you've got the free account, you're gonna be able to download to your computer. And if you've got the pro, the upgraded account, which I recommend everybody has for that $15 a month, uh, you'll be able to automatically record in the cloud. Now, let me show you how to get to the recording settings so we can go in and uh, adjust those. So what you're gonna do once you're logged into your main account, you're just gonna come to the left side and click settings. And then you're gonna come up to the top here and just click recording. And all your recording settings are gonna be here. So if you've got the, the pro account, you are gonna be able to record in the cloud. So just make sure this is turned on. And then uh, you have a couple options on how to record. You can record in different views on the screen and you can even record an audio file only. Um, so these first two are gonna probably be the ones that are most relevant to you. So the active speaker and the gallery view. Active speaker is where you have the main person taking up most of the screen, um, but that's your active speaker view where you have that one main person. So it would be your coach or trainer if that's how you want to record it, uh, or the person whose audio is on. So if the coach is coaching and then somebody's talking and then that person switch it, the screen will switch to feature that person, it's going to switch back and forth. So that is what your active speaker view looks like on the recording. Now the gallery view, that's your Brady Bunch view. That's where everybody has all the different squares. So I personally love that view. That's the one I choose uh, because I love that community feel. I want people to be able to see each other, but then it really, again, comes down to the experience you wanna have for your community and your clients. Now you can do both. You can have both of them record and just offer both recordings for your clients and your community so they can watch in however, whatever view they have, but that's gonna eat up a lot of your storage. So I probably would pick one or the other, whichever format you like the best. Um, I, again, like the gallery view, that's my personal preference, but pick whatever one be is best for you. And then if you do have people using that chat feature, you know how you can have the chat at the bottom, uh, you can record the chats if you want to on a separate file and that'll be a text uh, file there. Now, make sure that turn is turned on again if you wanna be able to record in the cloud and then to automatically record the calls or the streams uh, once you have started the meeting, have this button down here checked. This says automatic recording. Remember, if you are on the free account, you can do this on your local computer. And if you're on the pro, you can do it either on the cloud or the local. You'll see, since I have the pro account, if I click local, it unchecks record in the cloud. So I like to have it up in the cloud, uh, and that's just the version I have here. So I just wanna make sure that you guys have that checked so it'll automatically record. There have been meetings that I'm like, ah, I forgot to press record. Um, so make sure you have that recorded automatically. You can go in and delete them later. Now, where do your recordings go once they have recorded? If you're in the cloud, that is very easy. So you're going to scroll up and you're going to come here and you're going to see recordings and you're just going to click recordings and then all of your files will be here. Now, if you want to go in, I'm going to show you real quick how to share them. You're just going to click in. I'm going to click this top one here to my last call that I had. And if I wanted to download this now to my computer, so I had it on my desktop, I'd click download file. And if I wanted to share the link so my clients can watch it, all I would do is click copy the shareable link here and then share that with all of my clients. It automatically copies to your clipboard. So I hope that helps. Make sure you've got those automatic uh, recordings set. And yeah, happy recording.